Greetings. The purpose of this video is to walk you through the steps you can take to prepare for the Early Childhood Alternative Viewing webinar you registered for. The webinar will be hosted on WebEx. You can view the webinar on your browser of choice and you will not need to create an account ahead of time. That being said, you will want to make sure that your internet connection and computer settings are up to date before you join the webinar. We recommend using a wired internet connection for the duration of the webinar instead of using Wi-Fi or dial-up. WebEx is compatible with most modern browser and operating system combinations. Those browsers include Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Edge, and Internet Explorer, with Windows or Mac OS as your operating system. To determine what you have installed on your computer, visit whatismybrowser.com. There you will see your browser and operating system combination displayed, along with a list of other browser settings. WebEx requires that participants have JavaScript and cookies enabled on their browser. During the webinar, you will view video clips, use WebEx drawing tools to make notes and add comments, respond to prompts in a chat room, and if you have a functioning microphone, you will have the option of answering questions verbally. With that in mind, before you join the webinar, it is a good idea to review your computer's sound settings. How you go about doing this will depend on your operating system. Windows users can open the sound panel and check to make sure that the speakers are connected. If you play a video or audio clip and the speaker level responds, your speakers are working, and you should be able to hear the webinar audio. The Recording tab will indicate whether there is a microphone available for use. Mac users can navigate to System Preferences, click Sound, and check their speakers and microphone in the Output and Input tabs. Again, if the levels under the microphone are changing as the noise is happening, that means the microphone is working. To join the webinar, click on the Join Meeting button located in the meeting invitation you receive via email. You will then be prompted to enter your name and email address. WebEx will give you the option of downloading the WebEx Meeting Manager application. Follow the steps indicated in the prompts to install the application. Once the application has been installed, WebEx will launch the webinar window. It may take a few moments to load. Everyone has the option of communicating via chat, and WebEx allows you to communicate with all participants or with a select individual. If the chat area is not visible already, click on the chat icon in the upper right corner of the screen. To choose who you'd like to chat with, open the drop-down menu Send To and select either everyone or an individual's name. To contact the meeting organizer with technical questions, select Orson Webb. If you have a functioning microphone, you have the option of joining in the discussion using VoIP or Voice over IP. First, you'll need to get the presenter or organizer's attention by raising your hand. In other words, clicking on the small hand icon to the right of your name. The presenter or organizer will unmute you and you will be able to speak into the microphone so that everyone in the webinar can hear you. Once you're done, the presenter or organizer will mute you again. The last way you can communicate to the group is through annotation. During certain activities, you will be asked to draw or write on a whiteboard, image, or diagram. Your annotation tools are located in the toolbar on the left-hand side of the screen. If the presenter asks you to point something out on the image or diagram, you can select the pointer tool and click to locate the pointer where you want it on the screen. The best annotation tool for typing words is the text tool at the top. To draw arrows and lines, you can use either the line or the highlighter tool, and you can adjust the color as well. Finally, you can erase your annotations by clicking the Eraser tool. If you'd like to take notes for your own reference later on, click on the Notes icon in the upper right corner of the screen and start typing.
As the webinar is coming to a close and you're done taking notes, click Save, select a location, and WebEx will save your notes as a text file. Once the webinar is over, you can leave the meeting by navigating to the Quick Start tab and selecting Leave Meeting.